What's up guys, this is James from the Great Gambino channel, and yesterday I went on a little mission. As some of you know, Best Buy recently received a small quantity of Oculus Rift Consumer Edition headsets, and I thought I'd try to jump in line and grab one of these, and then possibly cancel my order, because Oculus would allow you to, if you were lucky enough to get one of the Best Buy headsets, they would allow you to cancel your actual pre-order. Now my pre-order should arrive in about four weeks from right now, so it's not that far away, but I figured if I can jump in line and grab one of these headsets and have it now, I can start recording video games gameplay footage for you guys right now and give you guys a little bit something a little bit early. So this is how my little mission went down. The night before I went to Best Buy and talked to a few people and found out what locations in Los Angeles were actually going to get headsets and I actually traveled to one of the locations and talked with everybody and they told me that the headsets they had were already pre-ordered. I did some research online and this was not true. There was no pre-order. It was first come first serve so I completely ignored the store clerk's advice and I showed up at 8 o'clock a.m. Now the store did not open till 10 so I figured two hours would be early enough. I was wrong. There was enough people in line for each one of those headsets right off the bat when I got there. And apparently they had been there since before 7 a.m. After talking to one of the guys waiting in line, they recommended I go to Torrance, which was about 30, 40 minutes away. They said that store had five headsets. Thought it over for about five seconds, and then I took off and headed out toward Torrance. When I got there, I was excited because nobody was in line. So I'm waiting there thinking, well, I'm gonna get a headset, I guess, because no one else is here. Then I noticed there was a few people waiting in cars, and I decided to ask one of the guys, hey, are you here for the Oculus? And he kind of had a smirk on his face and he said, yes, sorry, man, they gave out tickets. Five tickets were already given out, so that was another fail. In any event, there wasn't a way I was gonna get one of these headsets from Best Buy on that day, so I am going to have to wait four more weeks, no problem. The actual guy that was in the car waiting, his order was pushed all the way to August, so he deserved it more than I did. I did have a chance to go back to one of the Best Buys closer to where I live and actually try the Oculus Rift consumer version for the first time. So the whole day wasn't an entire fail. It was really cool. And they appointments booked up and they were able to squeeze me in as a walk-in appointment. So talking about the headset, in my opinion of the improvements from DK2 to the consumer version one, the first thing I noticed right away is it is much more comfortable. It fits on the head nicely. And I really, really, really like that you could adjust the eyes closer together or further apart. This made a huge difference in getting that sweet spot. Whereas if you're using the Gear VR and there's no way to adjust the distance between the two eyepieces. For some people, they just can't seem to get it in focus. It always is a little bit out of focus, but the Consumer Oculus Rift CV1, it's really easy to get it in focus, perfect for your specific eyes, and that is a huge deal. Resolution was good. You can see a little bit of screen door effect, but it's so minor that it doesn't take away from the experience. It was, it was really good. If you're used to playing in 4K, it might not look so amazing as far as resolution goes, but it was more than playable. It was a big improvement from DK K2's resolution, so I don't think the, the screen door effect is really going to hold anything back. I think people will appreciate and be completely amazed by what it offers with the resolution the way it's set. The earphones had a great sound to them, but what I liked the most is how easy it was to move them around and twist them and get them in the position where they're comfortable on your head. One of the things I noticed that I didn't hear too many people talk about, and with the previous headsets, they fog up a lot. DK1, DK2, and both versions of Gear VR that I used, they tend to get foggy really fast, and even when I used HD TC Vive, the older versions, it would fog up on me. But with the consumer version of Oculus Rift, it was hot in that Best Buy and I did not have any fogging. So having people watch over you, you're using the headset, I figured it was going to fog up, but I didn't have that as a problem at all. So I was very happy with that, knowing that it might not be as big of an issue. There might not be as much fogging. And on the same note, I did wear my glasses in the headset and they fit perfectly fine. It wasn't a problem. I didn't feel like I was cramped or lacking any space inside of the headset. It was comfortable. The demo I tried was was that mini round of different experiences where there's the alien, the T-Rex that comes down the hallway. I know a lot of you guys have probably seen this many times on many other channels, so I'm not gonna go into it too much, but I will point out that the one demo where you're looking over the ledge in the city was amazing. I loved it. It was just as cool as everyone explains it to be. And I was really impressed with the alien demo as well. It was just really neat. You had that sense of that this creature was alive and looking at you. The facial expressions translated into the 3D space. And at one point I crouched down really low on the ground and looked up at the alien. It jumped back and was a little startled by me. It was really cool. It, it, it was definitely effective. So that's pretty much it. That was my Best Buy fail for the day. I gave it a shot, but that's okay. My headset should be here by the 9th of next month. It's not that far away. I'm really getting excited. But that's all I got for you guys for right now. Thank you for listening. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.